You can get bad films, and then you get bad films starring famous musicians. It's nothing new. Michael Jackson's done it, but let's not go there, as that could be an entire review on its own. John Lennon did it, Madonna did it, Ice Cube did it, Elvis did it 33 times, although two of those were concert movies, so that just leaves 31 bullshit movies. And David Bowie's done it. Now I love Bowie, I have to say, but this movie makes me cringe with embarrassment so much that it just makes me want to throw out all my albums and DVDs that I own of the guy. I know it's a light-hearted fantasy movie, and there are parts in it that I do genuinely love, as do many people that I've met, but it's still a fucking joke. I mean, even the songs in it are shit. Well... This came at a time when Bowie was the height of his popularity. I mean, what was he thinking? The tagline for the movie is, where everything seems possible and nothing is what it seems. Well, it seems to me that this movie sucks balls. Instant things to pick up that make you realise this is a bad movie are The Ugly Baby. Yeah, I know pretty much all babies are ugly and don't try and tell me otherwise, but this baby just goes one step beyond. Bowie's dress sense. I know his glam look in the early 70s was a far out, but this just looks terrible. His acting is a joke, and his songs are fucking terrible. Don't matter. You'll give her that hoggle, or I'll tip you straight into the bog of eternal stench before you can blink. If she ever kisses you, I'll turn you into a prince. You, you will? Prince of the land of stench! <laughs> jump, magic, jump, magic, jump! Those annoying bird puppet things piss me off as well. The best thing that makes me laugh is the bog of eternal stench. This movie deserves to drown in there. Sir Didymus on his dog. I mean, more like Sir Dick, you piss me off. The story is your average tale where an evil wizard guy will kidnap someone, in this case the ugly mutated baby, and someone goes to rescue them against all odds. The worm's pretty cool, but after a while, I just sit and shout at the TV wanting the girl to squash the little fucker. Squash him! Come on, squash him! Squash the little bastard! Squash him, God damn it! Come on, squash him! No, don't walk away! No, don't walk... Ah, oh, shit! You know, at the end of the day, I've seen worse, don't get me wrong, but Bowie should be doing better than this. I'll give it an average 5 out of 10, though. Thank you, that was incredibly helpful. I really wish I didn't mention Michael Jackson earlier, because I can hear people out there asking me to review Moonwalker. Michael Jackson. Nothing could prepare you for his movie. Alright, I'll do it eventually, but be warned though, it will be your funeral, not mine. No. Not after my warnings, that would be stupid. No, you bet it would. 